What are your goals? Yeah, I just want to be in better shape overall. What does that mean? I would say a lot more tone. <laughs> tone. I hear this a lot. Right. Yeah. Tone. So you just you want to drop your body fat percentage? Yeah. You just yeah. want to see more definition. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Do you feel like, Do you have muscle mass? You think underneath there? Yeah, I definitely. I definitely have some under there. I just gotta move the move the fat out of the way so I can see it, man. I never had a six pack my whole life. My whole life. You I know they a six pack. Yeah. Do you understand Definitely. what it takes to get a six pack? Yeah, yeah, I know. It's a lot. That's why I haven't haven't gotten it yet. I, <laughs> I've been doing crunches and they never came. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's it's the diet. Yeah. Especially when it comes to revealing abs, I don't got a six pack already. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I will buy like Aprilish. Okay. You know, but um, it's with precision fat loss. It's so much about nutrition. I mean, of course, exercise is important. You can't crunch your way to a six pack. No, nah, yeah. It's yeah. not gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, yeah, I've, I've tried happen. multiple times. It never worked. Yeah, never that shit worked. don't work. What's your nutrition like now? Like, I right, give me yeah. what you ate the last two days. Oh uh, man, that's a terrible question to ask. Right after the holiday. <laughs> nah, man, nah, just, yeah. just keep it on. So, um, today I had tropical smoothie, and that's it. Let me ask you this: Are you willing to to um track everything you eat? Yeah, 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 because tracking your food is going to be the most important thing. Okay. Not the most important, obviously. What yeah. you what you put in it is okay. more important. But it's a powerful tool because it develops calorie awareness, mm -hmm. and that's that's a tool that you'll use forever. Whether you're trying to lose weight, whether you're trying to maintain weight, whether you're trying to put on muscle, yeah. knowing how many calories you're eating is a game changer. And a lot of people get into trouble. Because they just don't know how much calories shit has. Yeah, you know no, no, that's, yeah, that's real. That's real. That's always been part of the issue. Like, okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat. I don't know how much fat this is gonna put on yeah. me, but I know I'm gonna crush it. You know, so it's like being able to track it. And it was a wake up call for me because when I first started tracking, yeah. I didn't change what I ate. Right, I just wanted to track to see yeah. what it was I was eating. Mm -hmm. It ended up being like six thousand calories a day. Yeah. It yeah. it didn't look like. See, that sounds. OD, like, yo, 6,000 calories, but yeah. no, it was a legit, nice size breakfast, mm -hmm. you know, nice size lunch, nice size dinner, yeah. but it wasn't, if you looked at, if I put all that food on the table, yeah. the average person wouldn't guess that that was 6,000 calories, Yeah, when I should have been eating 3,000 calories, like double the amount of calories I should have been eating, so the calorie awareness is super, mm -hmm. super important. But I'm gonna coach you through this whole entire yeah, process. Yeah, yeah, I got a lot of questions. Just, already. just, yeah. just, just know, bro. Like yeah. I'm not, you know, the accountability is gonna be real. Yeah. You know, um, I want to show a real transformation, and yeah. we're not gonna rush this process, though. Okay. I know you got this trip coming up. Tell me about this trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and the fellas, we going to uh, Miami in March mm -hmm. for my birthday. We're still planning it out, but time I really take my shirt off, it's at the beach. Yeah. Or you know somewhere tropical, so. Yeah, I would like the. We're gonna get you yeah. to take your shirt off today too. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm with it. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, gotta, we, gotta, we gotta show the we gotta show the audience yeah. where you're starting at. We're gonna do your measurements. Yeah. Your weight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I want to help. I want. Yeah. I want you to make this a lifestyle slowly though. It doesn't help you or help me for you to lose a bunch of weight fast yeah. and then six months later you put it back on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm pretty sure you've done that before. Oh yeah. I've done that plenty yeah. of times. Yeah, you know, I've done it plenty of times. I did it last year. Yeah, so, <laughs> so we, yeah. we 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 want to put an end to that. Yeah. I'm gonna set you up with my online coaching program. I'm gonna give you the 12 week on transformation jumpstart program. I'm actually gonna just put that in the online coaching. So when your workouts get sent to your phone, mm -hmm. it'll basically be the workouts from the 12 week transformation jumpstart program. Okay. Go get the 12 week transformation jumpstart program. It is in the description below, bricksfitness.com. Oh. Anyway, so we're gonna run over to the gym. We're gonna do your measurements. I'm gonna do like a basic. Uh, assessment, mm -hmm. you know, to kind of see where you are fitness wise um, and figure out how we can tailor the program for you. Y'all have my body. Yeah, that's what you're about. 155 on that. Thank you, John. 255 on that. Yeah, see, I got you, Sam. Yeah, 155. <laughs> the widest part of your arm looks like about right. So that's 16 and a quarter. Hey, fellow man. Hey. We're getting there. We're getting there. I'm gonna do a, ch a chest measurement. Take a deep breath. 47 and 36 points to your belly button. Yeah. Relax. 45. 
17 and a quarter. All right, so we got all your measurements. Let's um, just jump on the treadmill. All right, so we're gonna be focusing mainly on the big four, which is your squat, bench press, your overhead press, and I'm not gonna do deadlift with you. We're gonna do a lunge, most importantly, because most of your workouts that I'm gonna be giving you are full body workouts. You wanna make sure you're working on your shoulder mobility. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna test a little bit of your mobility to kind of see where you are. Okay. I injured my shoulder a few times because- I to. Yeah. Because I, I wasn't I wasn't focusing on making sure I was warming up adequately. Yeah. You know, doing dynamic warm ups. So you don't want to do static warm ups. So this is the difference, right? So this is this would be considered a, a static warm up. Uh, right? Where you where you're holding the stretch, uh, right? Okay. You don't want to in the beginning of your workout. You don't want to do too much of that. You want to do dynamic warm up. So this is a dynamic a dynamic warm up. Okay. Where you're actually moving. You're lubricating the joints, but you're not holding a stretch. Okay. You hold the stretch at the end of your workouts. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. I want to check on your shoulder mobility. Mm -hmm. So start off wide and just pass it over and then start moving your, your way in. And I want to see how far we can get. You moved it in a lot. Oh, really? Oh, <laughs> no, if, you, if you can. I, I don't know. I don't know for sure. I never right. did this. Okay, that's good. So look, so so get to a, a comfortable place and just do let's just do ten pass overs. Let me see your push-up. Let me see your push-up. Let me see your, your body weight squat. Alright, stop. Spread your feet just a little bit more. Right? And then initiate the movement from through your hip, right? Uh -huh. So it's hey, like you start off like this. Right? Yeah, yeah, on my knees. You don't want to initiate through your knees. You want to initiate through your hips. So kind of like like you're about to go sit, like sit on a chair. Yeah. So here, and then you can track your knees forward a little bit, but don't let your knees go past your toes. But try to try to make stop for a second. Make sure that you're keeping your, your chest up. Okay. Try not to, to bend over. Okay. So here. Okay. And then when you. When you drive back, again, make sure you, that you're driving off that heel okay. and it's not your toe. Let your, let your muscles feel it. There you go. Now, tempo, it makes a big difference. You feel it way more when you slow down. Yeah. Now, this is just assessment. This ain't... Yeah, uh, yeah. I got to work out in my assessment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, want, I, I want to see what your body mechanics are like. Let's move your thumb in, outside. There you go. All right, let's put some more weight on. Now, you, and I see this a lot. Put your hand back on, on the bar. You see how you had your arm like this? Uh-huh. So right now, you can get away with that. But once you start benching 225, 315, yeah. you're going to put so much stress on your wrist uh, that that's not, yeah. Like that. So what you want to do is you want to have your wrist underneath the bar so that the weight is supported by your whole arm. Gotcha. And not just your wrist. So just be mindful of that now. Like okay. you want to, you want to develop good habits now. Yeah. There you go. You use these little nubs on the bar to make sure that your grip is even. Okay. So let's say, for instance, on your grip, you put your pinkies on those little nubs. Then you know the bar is even. Okay. So just, just be mindful of that. These little nubs are there for that to guide you. Alright, so, so, <laughs> one thing, I'm, I'm gonna do a, a curl press. Remember, you can stay right here. How you feeling? <sighs> feeling it now. <laughs> feeling the burn, feeling the burn. Gotta stick to the, stick to the journey though. Cool. Gotta stay with it. Any apprehensions? Nah, nah, this is exactly what I expected. Exactly what I expected. Make sure I got this moving, moving right. So here. So twist to make it to that. Twist up. Yeah, try not to lean back. Try to keep your. 
That's fine. That's good. Yeah. So look, come forward. In the beginning, I want you to focus, like I said, on mastering your form. Yeah. Master your form. I don't really care how much weight you put on that bar. Okay. Like, don't worry about the weight. You want to master. You want to burn the form into your yeah. nervous system. Yeah. So that it's subconscious. Like right now, it's a, it's taking a lot of brain power for you to yeah. to keep yeah. your form right, right? Because yeah. you're thinking like, all right, where, where where's my body position? So yeah. Let's keep the let's keep the weight minimal. I'm gonna give you higher reps. Like okay. you'll be doing like four sets of 15, four okay. sets of you know what I'm saying, okay. 12 to 15 reps. That way you don't have to put too much weight. And the the most important thing also is your rest times. Yeah. You want to make sure your rest times are low enough. Okay. Like you don't want to, you don't want your heart rate to drop too much because these these workouts are designed. We're going to build muscle, yeah. but it's also it's it's mainly designed to burn fat. But yeah. We want to keep, we want to spark up your metabolism, and the way you do that is you keep your heart rate up. Okay. Right? So low weight, low to low to medium weight, okay. and we're going to keep the rest times under a minute. Okay. All right. So how you feeling? Hey, I'm. Feeling good, man. I can feel like I worked out, even though it was just the assessment. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. No, I can feel it. I mean, I just, I just want to mentally prepare you because yeah. that's the most important thing. In the beginning, right now, mm -hmm. is for you to approach this with the right mindset. Yeah, it's gonna make a world of difference. You gotta make sure you're preparing for the, because like probably for the first two weeks you're gonna be on, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna have that moment where you fuck up. Oh yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. I just I just don't want that to railroad you because that's normally what yeah. it does for a lot of people. So nah, yeah. just mentally be prepared to lock in. Yeah. Take your time. Don't beat yourself up too much. And, and think about this like, yo, I'm, I'm trying to make this a lifestyle. Yeah, I want to yeah. look good for Miami, but yeah, nah. I'm about to make a, make this a lifestyle. And you got good guidance, bro. Yeah. Like, really, you yeah. have a lot of the excuses people have. Yeah. You don't have. You can't even pull those cards. Yeah, no. Nah. Exactly. Okay? Exactly. So you, yeah. so you got this. Yeah. Man, you got any questions? You, you good on everything? Nah, else? man. I think I think we're good. You you were real good at explaining everything because that's my biggest thing. When I go to the gym, I literally go to like the machine with the cables and stuff, just because it, it seems like it corrects your bad form. Mm -hmm. So I never really had anybody kind of correct me. So they helped out a lot. Okay. Yeah. Um. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna set up your your profile with the training software. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I'm also gonna, like I said, I'm gonna email you the 12 week transformation jumpstart program. I want you to read that joint. Yeah. It's a lot of good information in that program. A okay. lot. It's probably about 30 pages of information. Yeah. I basically took all the questions that I've gotten over the last six years and I put it all into one package mm -hmm. that you can get at bricksfitness.com. The link is in the description. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I want you to read that joint. Like, yeah. Read it like five times. Okay. Like, Try to memorize that stuff because yeah. it's gonna help program you mentally because that's all this is. It's yeah. all it's all a mental game, bro. Yeah, no. Nah. It's all a mental yeah, game, yeah. you know. Yeah. But I got you, man. I can't wait to get this done with you. Ah, hey, hey, likewise. I appreciate it, man. I'm mm -hmm. honored, honored to be getting trained by Bricks. My man. Yeah.